good. Okay. Our home when we bought it was new construction and builders typically put in builder grade, whatever that means. Uh, cheapest stuff possible? Oftentimes <laughs> it is cheapest stuff possible. Materials. Um, the lock sets and handles and things they put in are this brushed nickel. Christy really liked these uh, egg shaped doorknobs and stuff. As you can see this one here, when we turn it, it doesn't like to return back. You zoom in on this, and I don't know if she can or not, but it says BHP, which is uh, Builders Home Products. That's probably way too close, love. I don't know. <laughs> he said close. <laughs> I don't think you have to actually physically move the camera. Anyways, I uh, got found their website, Better Home Products. I found their website, a whole replacement lock. Come on in. We're going to do this on the inside. Okay. I sent them an email. They uh, said, you know, they need to verify. I showed them a picture of the lock stuck like that. It, it, it obviously, if you turn it, it doesn't have the spring tension that it should. Uh, something's broken inside of it. Um, they had me send them pictures, send them a picture showing that it is a BHP. And uh, they UPS me that it arrived yesterday. So today we're gonna put it on. I already started on it. That's why it was kind of a little bit off center. If you've never changed a doorknob, they're pretty straightforward. You got a couple of Phillips screws holding it together. Sometimes there could be a plate covering these. In this case, there's not. I did find these for sale online. to be just a dummy that has no spring on it whatsoever so I'm guessing this is going to be the outside part nope. okay we've got a situation uh oh that doesn't match it does not match Okay. It's the right color and stuff. Stop here. We will take some pictures. I said stop and she stopped the camera. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I'm going to stop uh, this project. I'm going to put, I'm going to get some pictures of these and send them to the guy I was dealing with there and show him that we've got obviously something different. It's probably a new tonight or today. We're going to uh, be replacing this doorknob. We've got, as you can see, you don't need to get in close like that. I don't, I don't know. Go ahead, whatever. Um, <laughs> you put me in front of the camera. Yeah. Or behind the so camera. So you can see it, it, it's not returning. It, the, there's a spring in the handle that's broken. Um, we checked on the deadbolt part here. You can find that it says BHP, which is actually Better Home Products. These are the knobs and things that you see that even with nothing, it, it doesn't come back out all the way. Um, I reached out to them uh, online and saw on their website, they do provide a manufacturer's lifetime warranty. The builder put these in, we're the first owners of the house. So they had me send them a couple of pictures and they have sent me a box of replacement stuff and it looks like it's got more parts than I need um, so we are going to be able to replace this hopefully and have a few parts left over so they threw in an extra Latch part here. I'm not sure why. We'll look at that as we get it apart. If you've never replaced one of these, it's real simple. It's a, a typical do-it-yourself type thing you can do. Whether you're getting your lock set or your handle set uh, from Home Depot or Lowe's or like we did in this case, a warranty. You have two screws. Sometimes this plate has a cover that you have to pop off with the regular screwdriver. Typically, 
you just got exposed screws and you just take those out and then everything starts to come apart um, parts don't go flying all over the place so you don't have to be worried about that you can use your power tools for this I typically don't bother you will find that these screws are not overly tight You see this one uh, has a nice spring return on the handle itself and the one we're taking out and it, it, it appears to be the correct one but there is nothing the spring is broken not working the other part of the handle is just a pivot on both parts and then your latch mechanism does have a spring in it and as you could see in our old one it is not strong enough to return the handle on its own. I'm going to put my glasses on and look at this and see if we want to go ahead. There's two more screws if we want to go ahead and change that part out. And it looks like what they've done is there's a beefier one because this is an entry door with a deadbolt, whereas this one would be used if you had this handle on, say, a closet door or a bedroom door that was not locking, like for the children or something. So I'm going to go ahead, I've got a new part. I'm trying to stop being a hoarder and keeping things because one day I might use them. So I've got a new one here. I'm going to put it in. Especially since if I have a problem down the road, thus far the company has been pretty good about doing warranty for me. And it, I'll admit it's just the first time. But it bodes well for the future. It's just these serrations here kind of help hold it into the wood. And now that I do have it apart, it, you can also see it stamped BHP on this as well. Now, it is possible to put this in incorrectly. If you put it in like this, then you know, you, you'll have to turn the door the handle to close your door and it will just pull open because it's the wrong way um, it's not going to work the way you would like it typically this is adjustable for the spacing here um, we're going to make sure we're in the right spot looks like we are this is the same I'm going to just go ahead and stick it back in I'm going to reuse the two screws I took out no need to change those out Tap that in. If you find that these screw holes are stripped out or you have to move them and re-drill and then you've got too big of a hole and the screws don't want to grab, the best trick I have for that is to take some of your wood glue and shove a bunch of toothpicks in there with glue let them dry and then cut them off with your razor knife did you want to grab a 
a wipe and clean this door off before we put it back together. <laughs> okay, clean away. <laughs> Like most things, once you start cleaning, then you just like, oh, and you just keep <laughs> going. There's a spot over here on the other side. <laughs> here. Okay. So, make sure I've got the right one. If you can put your head in the way, I can't see it. Thanks. Neither can you. So, just sliding it through. The, uh, when you push it through, your handle has to fit through that part. And then those two pieces have to fit through. And then your two screws are going to thread into these. And they're a little bit tricky. And you can see how this was, the only thing to pull this back is the spring tension in here and it's just not enough to do it. This is keyed so it kind of only goes on one way. So if you just shove these through the holes and drop them in there, they're not going to go in. You kind of have to feel where the threaded parts are. If you're not very patient, um, this may be where you decide that this is not the job for you. And if somebody knows a great trick for doing this, I'm open for suggestions. I've never stumbled upon one. that if you move it you know that the whole thing is going to slide around which it may have a little too snug it will bind yay so there you go it's not that difficult um, I did check one thing on this. It came with another striker plate. I was hoping there, that it would come with two. It did not. It came with the same ones that the builder had. So you'll notice that the trim we have actually is a deeper trim. And the striker plate does not come out. So that it does hit this. And we have this problem on all of our doors. And someday I may order up a bunch of... They do make striker plates that come out around this. Um, I just haven't done it, so it's a low priority, but at least now that works. So again, we appreciate your taking time to watch us and hope you have an amazing day.